Hey, okay, humanity. There you go. Looks good. I wonder if people can see me. Comments will appear after here. Live. All right. Anybody out there? Yeah, I see one person out there. All right. All right, humanity. I'm not sure if people can see me out there, but let's get started. It's just a little experiment. Before I get started with this stuff, just let me this. All right. So I'm gonna show you guys. This is just a little experiment for tomorrow for Friday. So I'm gonna show you guys how to understand the wheel above is the wheel below. As you know, we have a fake work government, fake work where they just fake education system. And I'm gonna try my best to explain it to you guys. All right. You must understand. You need a notebook. All right. You're gonna need one of these. This is my notebook when I started in 2011. All right, you see? A notebook, how I started all by myself because I knew that we live in a fake world government, all right? Old, old notebook, all right? Here's another one because I got two more upstairs. Here's another one, how I read the stories. I read the stories like this, all right? Now look, you using that is going to make it more easier for you guys, all right? So let me get started here. But you have to have a notebook. You have to take notes. This, the only way you can understand this is by taking notes, learning. Because if you don't take notes, you ain't gonna understand shit. All right? You're always gonna be a slave of the fake system. We have a fake world government, fake world where they can fake education. It's all fake to control you, the slaves. All right? You must understand that. And I can't say anything else about what's going on in the world because they will delete my account. I got two strikes on YouTube because it's speaking the truth, all right? So, and it was nothing about them, it's just me talking about our, you know, what we breathe. I mean, just talking about that, the levels that we are at. So, okay, the Buddha, when you read this book, you use this, you use this, the Buddha. The Kabbalion, the same thing. You use that. If you don't use the star constellation map, you will develop mental illness, mental psychosis. The Holy Bible as well. These stories repeat itself over and over and over. You use this when you read this. All these stories repeat. The Quran, the same thing. You use this. I have to do it like this because humanity and 99% of the population, they're all stupid people. They won't get the truth. They, they, they won't want the truth because they love the word of illusion, the word of fantasies. You have to stop this, all right? You have to take responsibility for your own actions and stop this fake world governments. You have to stop funding them. Here. Book of Mormon is another book of mind control. When you read this, you need to use this. It's their story. Not your story. Here's another Holy Bible. The Hebrew Bible. Same thing. You use this. If you don't use the Star Constellation map, you will develop mental illness, mental psychosis. Another book. All these books I read, you use this. The Kabbalion. Look, look. The Kabbalion, all right? The Emma Illich. The seven tablets of creation. Look at that. The seven. What's the seven, people? Look. The seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The seven constellation with suns. Look. The seven. I give it to you all there, look, with the number of powers and everything. So I'm going to explain more of this tomorrow. All right? The Book of Enoch. You use this. I decoded this whole book for you guys. Here's another Book of Enoch. This is the one I use. You can see it's all worn out. Here's another one. The Book of Inky. You use this. 
You see, all those books that I showed you, magicians. Magicians wrote these Bibles. It's the same story, but they make it look different. That's mind control. They fool with you guys. No aliens from the planet Anunnaki created you. Look, the planet Nibiru is all this. This is all Nibiru right here. And it moves. You know, like Noah's Ark? This is Noah's Ark, the whole thing. Okay? Two animals of every kind. Ne um, positive energy, negative energy. Two animals of every kind. Noah is here. It's, that's Noah. His wife. Three sons and three wives. These, these, these are the seven. The seven constellations were sons, Orion holds two sons. You see, it's eight in total. You have to use this when you read the book of Enoch. I mean, the lost book of Inki. Okay, let's say Inki. He's the yellow son. His brother is Inlu. Now, let's use when you read it earlier, Alulu. This is Alulu. This is a spacecraft. Okay? Moving. He swallowed Anu's manhood. It's just changing energy with the sun and Polaris. You see? These are the seven weapons of Terra. You see? The seven weapons of terror, the seven females of the Naki assemble, it's all the same story being repeated over and over and over again. That's why you need to study this, because if you don't study this, you're going to fall under the spells. Spell is a spelling. The language we speak is a spell. You don't understand it. You come from nature. You understand nature. That's your first language. Once you understand nature, now these magicians' spells are going to work on you. Okay? So let's keep moving on. The Immortality of Far. This is the book that gave me all the knowledge. This book right here. It gave me all this knowledge. And I read it about, literally, I read it about 60 something times until I figured it out, but I read it over 100 times. And every time I read it, more and more knowledge comes to me. But it's all the same. It's all the same. It's all the same knowledge. So. Here. All those Bible stories comes from the Aztecs. All right, I decoded this for you guys already. The whole thing. The 40 days. Red sun. See, here's the red sun. It comes in on 13 constellation. We look at it in the cross between the four seasons. It comes in. The red sun stays in our 13. The red sun makes 15 passages. When she comes to our 13 constellation, she awakens a yellow sun in the month of June. She comes in to July. Nobody knows the day or the hour, but we know the month and year. When the Alpha and Omega comes in, she makes the yellow sun for 40 days. Okay? Here's Earth. This is where we located. Um, my friend Griffith asked me how did I figure that one out. That's because I called NASA. I was trying to ask them where are, where are we located because there's a lot of fake maps out there. They even got one. With a flat earth, that's all bullshit. This is the correct one. East and west, okay? You see, when you read the Buddha, the Buddha looks to the east for enlightenment, you see? You see, it's all the same story. So now again, this is from the Sumerian tablets. It's the same, you see the eight, the eight suns? Same thing. Another tablet, you see? I already explained all these for you guys. Here we go. Here's another one. It's all the same story. You see? Here's that. Here's our yellow sun, sun solar flares. Here's this is the the 19 constellation red sun solar system. That's that one right there. See, that's the the red sun, and you count one, two, three, four, five, six, six planets. You see? And there we go. Then you will see this is not this is this right here, the 2,000 years of darkness. You see, the Milky Way galaxy. This is the cross. They forgot to paint this gold, but this is the way they have it, but it's a cross. You see, you locate it in the cross in the middle. All right? People say this is the moon. This is not the moon. To me, this is the sun solar flare. Because the eight suns are awakened. More gamma radiation on the earth. So, then the one time that I love the most, right here. Let me show you guys. Let me move these books. The Hemotaurus of Thought. You see? So now, and this one here I forgot. I haven't, I haven't explained it to you guys, but it's all the same. You only have to count 
We only have to count the 12, and all these are 15. The 15 passage of the Red Sun Solar System. This took place in the age of Thaurus. All right? The age of Thaurus, right here. That's the end of the Earth age. End of the Earth age. We are right here. End of Earth. Earth, fire, air, and water. The four elements. Water. Um, the Egyptian calls it, the Egyptian calls this um, hell, paradise, heaven, purgatory. You see? You have to see through the magic and illusions of writing. How they confuse your mind, those people who never studied nature. So let me look at the comments. People, the people are asking comments here. So, all right. Let me see. Marianne, happy birthday. Thank you, Mary. No value. Nobody can hear me. Uh, no value. Ah, oh, you're right. Can you people hear me then? I love this setup. Wow. With their spells. Yeah. So you write in me. Okay, so you can hear me then. All right. Okay, so. So you people can hear me then. All right. I love this setup. All right. No, I can't hear you. Oh. <laughs> well, you have to probably put your volume up because everybody else can hear me. Um, yeah. Uh, Raul Reese, mathematics, art, science, and all makes the order of the cycles. No blind, no blind will see the truth. All right. We are here. We are here. All right. So you can hear me, right? Can somebody say they can hear me? Can you put, uh, Raul Reese, can you hear me? <laughs> I can hear you now, maybe. All right. Good. All right. So, yeah. Um, I, you know, this, when I tell you guys, it's all the same story. When you read any of these Bibles, any of these books, it's all the same story. You have to understand how nature works. It's all the same. It's that the magicians, they, if you don't understand nature, you're going to fall under the Bible spells, under the book of Enoch spells, under the, any of those, under the Quran spells. It's because you people never took the time to understand nature, how it works. You never planted a tree. You disconnected yourself from nature, from the truth. So the world government keeps with this delusion. They keep messing with your mind for control. All right. Now I always want to get. I always felt like the government is a good people. Because I always, I always have, I always have that hope. But you know, I just thinking about this. If we live here in the two thousand years of darkness in the Earth Ice Age. We all be suffering, but those are different people that rule on there. You see, for example, we in the Earth Age, so we have these elites that are controlling this timeline, then another timeline on the Fire Age, then the Air Age. Then you have to think why we always have to be at war, and why they always talking about you know what the um the carbon emissions, how to keep it under low, okay? And it makes me think, you know, like I said. Kind of, you know, I always thought, you know, every galaxy collisions every early 4,000 years. The, the Milky Way galaxy is the Earth above will collide with the Darmada galaxy. So I always thought that, um, I always thought that that's when the Titans returns. We got 22,000 years for the end of our species. But it makes me think when... When I read these books, it makes me think when the earth gets hotter, when the earth gets new, because you know, 2,000 years ago, the ice started to melt away and the earth is getting hotter. It makes me think like when the carbon emissions are higher, the titans will return, but I'm not sure. I'm confused with that. And I know when I read these books, I know that the titans are the four seasons. I know the titans, these are the titans above, you see? Earth, fire, air, and water. These are the titans, and these are the smaller people i know that but what if the the titans those creatures really can come i don't know because of the gamma radiation in the ocean you know and there's a lot of stories popping out i'm going man i wonder if that's the whole reason for all that technology that earth has like i know china has floating cities why would you have floating cities either one or two things either because the water levels went up or because the titans will return. For example, 
the Great Wall of China. What's the real reason between for the Great Wall of China? You never thought that's a good way to keep the Titans away? You know, a big wall? Does any other countries throughout the world have a big wall that's around their cities to protect them from them? I don't know. Our history has been hidden from us. We have to figure it out. Like, I understand that we have a fake world government, fake world building. It's all to control our minds. It's all fake. They're not telling you the truth. You have to discover this truth on your own. So, <laughs> so now if the government is protecting us from that, that illusion is great. It works, but it's wrong. People should not be worshiping idols, those idols, those fictional characters, those aliens. That's all I and the, order, the only way we can maintain the badness in earth is by everybody knowing the truth. This is the only way, but this is the way I think. When you look at the population of planet earth, and you look at my YouTube channel, my TikTok page, I don't have a lot of members, I don't have a lot of subscribers because people like bullshit. People don't like the truth. People like to see a woman showing her big ass get more hits and more views, more followers than so humanity, in other words, this is the way I see it. Humanity is going to get what it deserves. When I see the elite doing what they're doing, to me I see it, <laughs> hey, Obama told us 10 years ago this was going to happen. Bill Gates, seven five years ago, told us this was going to happen. They told us everything. It's that humans don't remember the past. So if those people are entertained with the word of lies, only those who are smart, Will be only the strong will survive and also strong mentally. If you're not strong mentally, you ain't, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's up to you. You know, you prepare for this cycle. You know, you know that, that you know that fear control you, you know that then control you with fear. Because that's what they, all they do. Religion is fear. All these books that they're trying to give you fear. But once you understand this, you will never be afraid. Never again. So, let me keep reading more comments here. Okay. Um, let me see. Uh, where am I at? Okay. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, thank you. Suki, Raul Reese. Okay, can hear you, right? I belong to Vedic background, so it's easier. I'm not sure what the Vedic background. Okay. This is magic. It's called thanking in India. Okay. Yeah, India. If you're talking about Sunki, if you're talking about the the Buddhist, if you're talking about the Buddha in India, there's a Buddha that they have, and there's ten heads around it. So you know what the ten heads are, right? I'm not sure if it's the same one, but India is kind of like the same thing. But they built these beautiful statues of the Buddha and the other goddesses that they have 10. Those are the 10,000 years of sunlight. You see the 10 heads, the 10,000 years of sunlight and the 2,000 years of darkness. Now, this is another one for those people out there. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to be explaining a lot of the Bible characters using this and the wheel above and below. But let me explain this to a lot of people that a lot of people ask me. We are here in the age of Aries. When we in the age of Capricorn and Aquarius, a lot of people think because we're in the year 2000, we're in the age of Aquarius. We're not, we're not in the age of Aquarius. It's a reset. Okay, after the 12,000 years, when we come into the age of Aquarius, it's the calendar will start again to one. Okay, one, two, three, until the hit to year 2000. In the year 2000, something, if you watch the movie Logan's Run, it shows you. The, the people who live underground in the underground cities, and I would say the year of the city, 2,200 something years has passed. So that's when, so it would be in the age of Pisces, it would be another reset. And that's how they know to, they will have another 10,000 years or something like because the sun will start melting the ice away. All right? So it will be another reset. It will be one, two, in the year 2000, in the age of Aries. Then in the year 3016, the red sun will come in again, make changes to the seven constellation with suns. Remember, this is the red sun. She makes changes to the six constellation with suns. Then all those people go through the same purification. Like I've seen a lot of videos of scientists saying, 
you know, this happens every 12,000 years. No, this not happen every 12,000 years. This happens every millennium when the ace times are awakened. They're confused because when they look at the carbon dating, because of the ice age cycle, happens every age of Capricorn Aquarius, 2,000 years. They, they don't know how to read those core samples. And like I said, since we have a fake education system, they probably will thought to they probably will thought to see it fake. You know what I mean? To see the fake science behind it. You know what I mean? So it, the only way you can understand it is if you read everything. Like remember, we have a fake. Everything in the science community is all fake. It's all hidden in there. It's that people can't see it because they don't know. They don't understand. It's all been hidden. They keep this knowledge hidden. They're not gonna tell you. The, the fake world government, the elite people, they ain't gonna tell you. This is the way it is. They they want this to be like this. It's wrong. And the only way you can understand this is by understanding this. Then the judges needs to understand this. The politicians, the governors, they all have to understand this to see through the lies. If not, these people make the wrong decisions based on a lie, like what's happening right now. They're making the wrong decisions. So everybody's being fooled, mind control. So there we go. So, so yeah. So let me read more comments. Thank you for the PDF, Emilio. No problem. I'm glad a lot of people tell me when I send them the free PDF, they can't get it, they can't download it or anything like that. So... So I'm glad you got it. Nothing, no problems happened to you. But I just think people don't know how to download it. Um, Raul Reese, the Vedas practice deep breathing exercise in the underground cities to keep their bodies warm during the ice age. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Remember, Raul like, okay, um, like, um, what was his name? Um, graffiti, right? You know, Adam, this is Adam and Eve. So he said, Emilio, um, you know that Adam stands for adapt? You know, we adapt to the new environment. Remember, we are here. Um, we're in this age, earth, fire. Our bodies will adapt with earth change. Like for a second, remember when I said earth is still heart? Okay, so we are connected with the earth magnetic frequency. When earth change, we change. So in the fire age, the people ain't gonna be the same as these people. They're gonna change. Then we go to the air age. In the water age, those people ain't gonna be the same, you know, because we we adapt to the new environment. For example, again, like Rafi we said, Adam is adapt, Eve is evolve. You see, it's all there in the language. Spell us in spelling. You have to be careful in what you're saying, what you're speaking, understand how the words are. There's a lot of words that when you say it, your energy, your body won't understand it, but it's like a low way of seeing things. Okay? You have to understand how to say the words. But right there. So we the easiest, we humans, the only reason we survive all these cycles, because our body is easier to adapt to the new environment. The reason for our immune system is the strongest. All right? Everything is in our DNA. It's all the germs, viruses, and bacteria is in our DNA. Okay? It's already in there. You know how babies, when they're born, they're putting everything in their mouth to build a strong immune system? So you see what I mean? That we have a fake work government, fake work religions, fake education system? Because they lie to you. It's all mind control. It's all fear. So... Okay, uh, I'll share it too. Okay, yeah, you can share the PDF to anybody who wants it, yeah. Spell can change our immune system, yeah. Like people, like the elites, they always want you to believe. You never believe, you always understand. By believing, you're gonna make yourself sick. You're gonna make yourself weaker. You never believe, you have to understand how everything works. You never believe, like when people say, oh, believe. When you work, when you break the word belief, belief, believing, beliefs, there's a lie. You see, you never, you understand. 
you always have to understand how everything works. So, I hope you guys can see my face when I try to explain that. Okay. Yep. Uh, Marianne, we are the people dying over this change thought. Now remember, um, Marianne, we, we are strong, okay? Our bodies adapt to the new environment, okay? Our body changes every, I think I read an article a long time ago of the science community where they say that our body changes every seven hours. We change with the earth, okay? So we change to the new environment. It's that fear is what kills the people, fear, all right? They don't know how to control this. So if anybody wants me to answer any of those questions, anything from the Bible or anything, I can decode anything like I showed you in the beginning for this. All those Bible stories, all the ancient temples, all the ancient temples from all around the world, all your Bibles from around the world, you have to use this. This is the key to decoding all those things. And that is it. It's, it's real simple. So yeah, understand should be overstand. <laughs> All right, Lane. Um, Luis Cordero, yes. So okay, Nimi, Emilio, do you think the Titans live on the water and we can adapt to the water to us humans? That's why I'm, I, like I like I said, Robert Reese, um, it's all about the energy of the earth and the sun activity on earth. That's the reason the government is using um, chemtrails, I call it solar, solar engineering, as reflecting the energy of the sun. Plus high you know, carbon dioxide, I think is what they need to come back. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's every seven generations and the Titans will return when the galaxy collision happens, or if they can return when the carbon emissions, when all that volcanic activity, when the earth is new again, you know? Like in the Disney cartoon, when the volcanic activities, when the storms, you know. Like I said, the Titans, when I read the stories, they're the, they're the four elements of the above to below. But what if, you know how we've been in war through all generations, maintaining the balance, like all the Egyptians says, keep the balance. The warning is everywhere. Those scales, I think it's, it's actually telling us about the carbon emissions. And that's why Bill Gates wants um, zero carbon by 2025. Everything vegetation because the cows or those animals to feed 8 billion people, we can't do that. Because we're creating too much high CO2, high carbon. <laughs> you know, they smart people. I guarantee they're smart. But I think the way they're doing this is the wrong way. So... I think there's other ways to do it, but hey, they know more things, hidden, hidden things that that probably I don't know. So, and probably that this is why they have to do it this way. They they're probably running out of time. That's what I'm thinking. This is the best way to do it. So okay, let me keep reading here. Explain the four, please. So it's good to shut down that, yeah, it's good to shut down the economy to reduce the carbon emissions. We all have to stay at home. I hope you guys saw the levels, you know what I mean? So, so the, it's changing the DNA in the new, no, 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 no. Um, Jane, Jane, you have to watch the old Obama videos and the old Bill Gates videos from seven years ago. They warn you what those things are for. When you watch Bill Gates videos, it's telling you. Every year we need to have 10 million people, all right, with you know what? Every year, okay? Obama told you this a long time ago. It's that people don't have good memory to remember what those things are for, all right? Our body change when the earth changes. We don't need that. That's why we have an immune system. It adapts to the new environment. All right? And that's why I say, if we can survive this, the 2,000 years of darkness, our ancestors, 
our body can survive anything else that Earth would throw at us. Remember, in the 2,000 years of darkness, we eat each other because there's no vegetation for 2,000 years. Okay? So, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Everybody on Earth is on a great spell, on a great delusion, a great lie. So, so, the London clock, the London clock is set at second. Here we go. Google beans. Okay, somebody want me to explain the four. Okay, let me see. Please explain. Prince Emma's. Please explain the four. Okay. Okay, you want me to explain the four elements, right? Um, air, water, earth, and fire. Okay. So this is the wheel above, okay? This is the Milky Way galaxy. It's a 12,000 years. We have 10,000 years of sunlight, 2,000 years of darkness. We are here. This is Earth. Earth. You see? Fire. Six, seven, eight. You see, in the beginning, okay, this is the beginning. Let me go over again, okay? The age of Sagittarius, the last 1,000 years of sunlight. Capricorn creates the 2,000 years of darkness. That's the water age. You know how the people say, um, the uh, Maya, the Temple of the Mexicans, the Blood Moon. They're talking about the Earth, that's the Ice Age. The Blood Moon, because we eat each other. There's no sunlight. That's the Water Age. You know, like the Avatars, when you watch that movie, the Water Nation, the Earth, the, the Earth Age Nation, I think it was, and the Fire Nation, and the Air, the Air Benders. They those generation master those elements. For example, when those people live in the 2,000 years of darkness, they master the water element. Our government is mastering the earth element and the fire, okay? That's the wheel above, all right? Then the wheel above reflects the wheel below. This is the earth 365 days. You see, this is the cross where we located between the four seasons. Autumn and winter, spring and summer. These are the brothers of light when you read the immortality of all. These are the brothers of darkness. The four elements. The four seasons. The four the four living creatures. The four beasts from below. Are the four seasons. The four horsemen of the apocalypse. The four seasons. You see? Those are the four. And those four are connected with the seven constellations of the suns. These are the sevens. When Earth rotates around the yellow sun, she's connected with our yellow sun, our Earth. Let's say, let's say this is the Earth. Let's say this is the sun. Earth is right here. So it's winter, because it's closest to the sun, but it connected, but it connected with the constellation of, of the Polaris. So it tilts the Earth, the axis. That's why it's the winter season. Then it goes to the... Um, Spring, it connects with another sun. So that's why it tilts. So the seven constellations of the suns, or the six, because this one also come into every millennium cycle. This one comes in every millennium. She stays in our pure life for about seven years. Six years, six months, six, six years, six, six months, six days. She stays in our tree of life. This is the tree of life. All right? This, this is the tree of life. This is a tree of knowledge and good and evil. When you read about Adam and Eve, they ate from the tree, from the fruit. This is the fruit of 2,000 years of darkness. This is why God could not see them, the yellow sun, the gods are the suns. They could not see Adam and Eve because they were in the 2,000 years of darkness. You get it? So these are connected with the four seasons when Earth makes her tilts. You have to, I, if you look at my images, I explain it. In a diagram, how she how the Earth tilts and everything, the reasons for the seasons. People don't understand that. People only see one sun when there's billions of suns in our Milky Way galaxy. But these are the seven responsible for the Earth as a tilt. Okay, so the Earth is not flat. The flat Earth is the Milky Way galaxy. This is the Earth of the suns, of the constellation suns and planets. They're talking about the Milky Way galaxy. You see the ends of the Earth. The end is only the beginning. So I hope I explained that one to you guys. 
the four. Now, Reese, uh, the storms outside change our biological and chemistry. Yep, it would be crazy to take us. Yep, every time it rains, that how people need to look at the yep. <laughs> Yeah, um, people are just, they, they just under the, the spells of the fake world. They, they don't want to study. They don't want to learn, okay? And these people control Facebook. They control YouTube. They control, and when somebody goes against what they're saying, they delete you. Your account, they delete, they delete everything. Okay, like, for example, they deleted my whole account on YouTube where I have all these videos. And that's why I need to do everything over. I'm glad because... I just gonna keep going to the day I die. I gonna keep telling people the truth. At least those we are living energy with the universal consciousness experience itself. At least those spirits, those energy will be free. They will have free will. Right now, the people on Earth they have free will to study, but they think they know when they don't know nothing. So they think the diploma. Remember, education system. It's not about intelligence, it's just to prepare you for the workforce. You're not intelligent, you're just a puppet the system, that's all. In order to understand the truth, you have to know this. And that's something you have to teach yourself. So yeah. So I don't see nobody else asking, so I'm gonna probably explain more things. So, okay. Let's explain... Okay, I already told you, this is the wheel above, this is the earth above, the earth that holds the constellation suns and planets, okay? There's, this is the ark, when you read the Bible, this is not an ark, all this. When you read the Sumerian tablets, this is the planet of Aviru, all this. this is, these are the seven weapons of terror, okay? Here we have Draco, the power is one through four. I learned this from the Aztec calendar, right here. I learned it from this. They have in this tablet they have the 18. Like I'm saying, every generation passed a knowledge behind. So the Aztecs to me is the oldest, but they got it from an older civilization. But you see, they got the you see this crown and these things in here when you count it as 18. Okay. So 18, then the 19, as you know, it's the red sound, so just 19. So here we go. So when you count the 12. Okay, 12, then, then let's go here, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, you see? Then the 19 comes in every millennium, you see? Those are the 19. It's everywhere. It's everywhere to all to see, okay? So, now this is Jesus and the cross, his 12 disciples, same as um, Abraham and his 12 Whatever, 12 sons. You see, it's all the same thing. It's all the same story. Um, Jesus, um, the Last Supper, the last 1,000 years of sunlight, number 12, the Last Supper. Eat from my flesh, drink from my blood for eternal life. We have to eat each other for 2,000 years for the return of Jesus. The return of Jesus, that's why they use the fish symbol. Look here, look. Spices, you see, that's the fish symbol. That's the fish right here. Three, for example, the death of Jesus, you see, his death and resurrection. One and two, and he returned on the third day, you see. It's all the same story. You have to look. If they're telling you with the memorization, they're telling you the truth. All those books, they're telling you the truth. It's the people are worshiping the fictional characters, the idols. Jesus is an idol, Yahweh is an idol, God is an idol, the devil is an idol, all those are fictional characters, it's like a comic book, it's the same thing, you know, like Spider-Man, Superman, it's all fictional characters, so, <laughs> and this will tell you the truth, is that religious people will thought that using this is the devils, that the devil created that, because that's mind control. The religious people were taught not to study this. That's why you tell the slave not to study the constellations. When you study this, it's how you feed yourself. That's how you know how to survive. If they close the grocery stores, 
you ain't gonna know how to survive. You ain't gonna know when to plant the first seed. You know what I mean? When to do it. When, when, when you plant that first seed. Okay, you do that on what? On March 20-something. That's when you plant the first seed. Then you do the harvest in Leo. You collect all the harvest that you did. You see, that's how you survive. Okay? You get ready for the winter seed. That's how you... You see, back in George Washington, all those, those people knew how to do the garden, how to survive, how to... But this generation, they're not. They, they depend on the government. So, and the truth is, I like watching TV, watching movies, right? but if it's going to be like this, I'd rather just go back to nature, go fishing, hang out with my friends, be free, and that's it. I'd rather live off of nature than being controlled by a tyrant government. I work, I work government is all about making billions of dollars on my life. They're just scamming you people over and over again. So I scam. So, so okay, let's keep moving on. And now you know that. So, okay, let's explain Samsung. Okay, Samsung is the 19th constellation red sun solar system. Okay, he comes in and he fights with a lion. What other stories in the Bible fight with a lion? Well, David. David is the 19. He fought with a lion. Same story. David used five stones. You see, this is David, okay? He used these five stones to defeat Goliath. Goliath is right here. Or the 13th Catholic Yellow Sun Solar System. Goliath waited for David for 40 days on the month. What's the month? The month. The month is the constellation Gemini for 40 days. That's the red sun changing energy. The same shot, okay? It's, you know, Adam's rib is the red sun changing energy with a yellow sun. The red sun becomes a blue sun. The red sun, when you read the Native American Indians, that's the red kachina comes in the, between the twins, you see? And it stays for 40 days, and that red kachina becomes a blue kachina. You see, it's all the same story. It, it's just being repeated. That's the magic of writing. They make it look different when it's not. It's all the same thing. That's magic, spells, and spelling. So, again, the devil is the red sun. Remember, the constellation is different than the receipt. The constellation is Lucifer. Lucifer holds the red sun, holds the devil. You must understand that. Now the devil tempted Jesus for 40 days. There's another one. He, Adam and Eve in the garden for 40 days. Depending what, you know, what age they were in, because the red sun comes in all the time. Noah, his wife. You see? When you read the stories, you have to look at that. Noah had three sons. You see, one, two, three, and his sons had three wives. One, two, three. You see, Noah is one son. His wife is another son. S U N, not S O N. Then you see, here's another son. Another son. Those are the eight sons. A lot of people get confused with that one because it's seven constellation, but Orion holds two sons. All right. So, you see. And what else? What other stories? See the whole Babylon, remember? The seven headed beast. You see? These are the seven. The seven constellation. And the woman is the red sun on the beast. You see? When you read the one that says, um, and they saw what's that story? The beast rise out of the sea with seven heads, okay? It had ten crowns, ten horns, ten thousand years of sunlight, you see? It's telling it because it, it will rain in those ages. The red sun has no power on the age of Capricorn Aquarius. It has no power. It can't do nothing because all the cons it's, it's darkness. You can't point. You can't point to those constellation signs or nothing from the two thousand years of darkness. This is a dust cloud. There's many names. They call it the well. They call it the um, abyss. They call it the Leviathan. There's many stories. They call it um, Farfarus. There's many stories explaining the 2000 years of darkness. So, you see? So, I hope, you know, the more questions you people ask, the more I can help you guys. Now, remember, this is the third, the gateway, okay? This is where the red sun comes in. We see her where our naked eye, every millennium cycle, 20, 10, 30, 40, 10, 50, 10, she comes in through the Leo constellation. Where our naked eyes, we can see it. A sunset, sunrise. 
we look for her underneath the lion, okay? But now we have telescopes technology that probably we can see her more, but she will disappear. Just, you know, we won't be able to see her. She's the bird that flies. You know, all the Asian temples, they have a, a person in a spacecraft. That's her, that's how the ancient people describe it. It's not a UFO or nothing like that. It's just describing our solar system. This is how the Asian people describe it. For example, you will see Earth, and you will see, you will see the Earth, but they depict the Earth like a per. They, they would depict Earth as a as a spaceship with a person inside of it moving through the cycles. It's not a space uh, alien UFO. It's not a that stuff. This is the way the ancient people describe our cycles. To warn you guys not to be deceived by the tyrant government, the fake government. So. So that's what's going on. And a lot, a lot of people just can't use their brains. Look, what did the Spaniards did when they came to the New World? They gave you a Bible. They stole all your gold, all the land. They're not out to save you guys, people. They keep playing the same game generation after generation after generation. They keep playing. They, no fiction, no God is going to save you. No world government. You have to save yourself. We the people have to run the city ourselves. The, you know what I mean? With this knowledge, you have to you have to understand this knowledge before you take control. So, so I'm not sure what else to say. All right. So I guess that's it. Nobody else is asking for Marianne. Um, in the beginning, there was light. There was light, the sun. Yeah, the beginning. Well, in the beginning, there were darkness. Okay, depends what you read. So, remember the beginning is Capricorn, is Capricorn and Aquarius. That's the beginning. Remember the end of the earth? This is the ends of the earth. There's many stories explaining this, but this is the magicians explaining the stories. You have to understand what they're saying. You have to use this key before you read those books because if you don't understand nature, you're going to fall under the magician's magic and writing under their spells, under the witchcraft of those books. You have to understand this. This will decode everything. And these stories repeat itself. It's all about this. Raul Reese, it's sad how many people don't read, don't read in our lifetime. They don't think reading is important. Yeah, they don't think. They just listen to this. This is what goes on. Like we have a fake world government that's lying to us. Then we have a fake pastor, a fake pope, a fake preacher. When you go to church, anybody who's a front, they're all liars. They're all stupid people. They don't know anything. They keep passing the mental virus, the lie, down through generations. And these people who rule the world, they keep ruling you. They keep controlling your mind. Then we have a fake education system that does not teach us intelligence. It's just to prepare us for the workforce. It's not enlightenment. They don't teach you how to plant a tree, how to survive with it. They don't teach you a lot of that stuff. They don't teach you the seeds and a lot of that stuff. You have to learn that yourself. But it's all there. They give you all the knowledge hidden. They have to. It's all there. Like, I, I figured it out. A guy from the hood, from the ghetto. If I, if I figured it out, so can you people. It's that humanity. People are too lazy. And they live in fear. And they believe in a fictional God. And the hell, and they're gonna be punished for eternity. That's all a lie. So <laughs> that's all a lie. We are the predators. We are predators, and at the same time, we are the we are the prey. Okay, you must understand that. Just look at nature. I learned that a long time ago when I saw a snake eating a dog. The snake is the predator, and the dog was the victim. Okay, we are the same. It's all about you using your brain. And it's all about helping each other and doing the right thing. I don't think this world government is doing the right thing. They're lying. So, so that's it. So, oh, there's graffiti. There you go. That's the one I wanted to see to uh, finally. Uh, okay. Marianne, you can't argue with Marianne. You can't argue with the uh, with this. Yeah, you can't argue with the zombies. They think they're right, 
For example, people who graduated from Harvard and Yale University, just because they have a diploma, they think they're intelligent. They're not intelligent. They're not intelligent. It's not intelligence. It's just a regular, they, they are on the mind control. Okay, let me see. Okay, Raul Reese, the storms. Okay, well, I already read that one. I see people talk about Raul Reese. I saw people in TikTok. They debate you. They think Jesus and the Buddha were real. Yeah, yeah, you know, they, they don't understand that that Jesus is the yellow sign and the Buddha is the yellow sign. It's all the same character. It's, all, it's just the magic of writing. Okay, CC. Oh, this thing, my phone, my phone doesn't work right, so there you go. Yep, like here we got um graffiti. Uh, he's another guy who understand a lot about this people, and he he writes things clearly than I can. So here's a guy you guys can ask and probably could explain to you guys in more detail how all this affect us. So. And he has he's writing his own book. Okay, with this image I could figure out how you de you decode with with two winters. Okay. I can't see it now because I'm here, so Raul Reese. The government are good people and we are the ones who are lost and bad because we are the same. Yep. People don't wanna change. And I can see, you know. Um, you and graffiti are awesome way to show us how like how you are both different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, I like the way graffiti looks. I think, but it's basically almost the same thing. But I do like the way he um he he showed things. You know what I mean? But it's basically similar. But I like the way he say things with his writing and everything. You know. So and um. It's all about how you know how to use this, okay? The more you study, the more you're gonna see. The more you see, the more you connect yourself with nature, the more you use your feelings, you have to use your feelings. You have to connect back with nature. And when you read these stories, you really have to study and understand it. And the more you're gonna see, but you really have to study, read, read. You really have to read people. But when you read these stories, you don't do like the religious people do. They they trapped in their fictional part of their brain. You have to organize your brain. You have to separate fantasy with reality. Reality is nature. Okay? Survivor of the fittest. That's the truth. And you have to observe nature. Then you're gonna realize the truth that all these books are made by magicians to control your mind. They wanna keep you guys primitive mentally so they can rule over you. They will see you that you people are not ready. Like I saw an Obama video where he says, we have to rule you guys because you people are too dumb to understand. Literally, I saw a video of him saying that. That we, that humans are too stupid. They can't figure things out. But it's because they made it that way. And they like to play these games with you guys. So. So. So, yeah. So, okay. Let me go here a little bit down. I see another comment here. The, okay, Jane Middle. Those with educational degrees are indoctrinated in the deepest way. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. When we have these doctors that they go for 10 years, they get under mind, more mind control. It's just, it's all a delusion. Okay, I read that one. Um, okay, um, Prince Masa. So, I have to put it down a little bit more. Okay, Prince Masa. So, this is how the star signs, authors, and the newspaper or magazines used for the prediction. Now, those people, Prince, those people don't know what they're... <laughs> when you see those people doing Terra cars or predictions and everything, they don't know what they're doing. They're all, they're all liars. For example, when, let me get one book. If I can find it. Where is that? Uh, where is that book? Where is that book? 
book. Now, where is that? Can't find it. Gotta hide it here. What the hell do with that book? Okay, I can't find the book, but I have it somewhere. Um, Prophecies of Nostradamus. You see, he used the stars, okay? But prophecies are all bullshit. We, they know the, the elite. They know past, present, and future. Because it repeats itself. It's a circle of life. But those people who do those things, they're just doing it for money. It's a scam. It's all a lie. You know what I mean? It's, it's just only illusion. It's all fiction. Once you understand this, nobody can ever fool you again. Because the, it's the circle of life. Like the Lion King, it's the circle of life. It's all the same thing. It repeats itself over and over and over again. So, so it's all about this. The same story. And I can't find that book. Oh, okay. So it's right down here. Right here. The prophecies of Nostradamus. All this, when you read his book, when you read these books, this, me and Graffiti were talking about the eagle. Okay? The eagle, 2,000 years of darkness. The ice age. You see? It's on the symbolism and everything. So, but Graffiti can explain more about this eagle. But he read up more about it. I just know I haven't dig deep in it for the philosophy of it. But it has to do something with the ice age. So, but when you read it, you have to figure out what they're trying to tell you. You see? It's all about the suns, you see? It's that people don't know. Remember, prophecies is all bullshit. Once you understand the truth, it's about our cycles. You will understand past, person, and future. Nobody will ever fool you again. So all those people that call themselves prophets, all that, that's all bullshit. You all can know the same knowledge. It's just understanding nature, how it works. It's that people have forgotten. And there will be a time where everybody's going to know this and they're going to forget it. Their descendants, they're going to forget it. So... Okay. Um, Raul Weiss, without your help, I will connect. Okay. Raul Weiss, without your help, I would. You lost Amelia. You connected the, a lot for the dots. <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Ariane, the Masons know. Well, the Masons don't know. The old Masons know. Ariane. Fake world governments, fake world religions, fake education system, fake masons, fake pastors, fake creatures, fake human science. The science that we have is all fake. That's all a lie. Um, fake scholars from the education system is all fake. None of that shit is real. You have to understand this. This explains everything. And, and you will know everything. It's all the same numerology and the story's tellings. It's all the same thing. Your mind will start opening up and you will see the truth. So, the list goes on. Ancient aliens, the Gaia, all fake. It's all about this. So, um, graffiti. No masons don't know. I call one up. <laughs> up on the phone and spoke to him. And for, yeah, they don't know nothing either. They think they know, but they don't know shit. Mason's this new age, it's just I'm telling you. It's all a money scam. These people don't know shit. None of them. We are eight billion people, ninety-nine percent of the population don't know nothing. And the one percent, less than one percent will make an effort to understand this. They're all trapped in the world of illusion where we're fast. They all, humanity, the people are all stupid people. This is why, this is why when I see the government doing what they're doing, I'm a, 
I'm gonna blame them. The people are stupid. When when I see these people acting the way they're doing, they don't deserve the breath. The, they don't deserve the breath, the breath of life. They don't deserve it. They don't. Because if I did, if I figure this out, and the reason I'm doing these videos is so for those elite people who have a consciousness, they don't feel guilty. They know it's the people's fault. They own fault. Like that, they they can see this and they won't feel guilty. So. Then who stole the knowledge? Who has it besides you? You all have the knowledge, man. You have to study. You do understand it. Look, that's the knowledge. You have to study, read those books, take notes, study the 12, understand that, understand all these things that I'm giving to you, then you start to see. If you don't, you ain't gonna see it. Okay, let me see what else the other person. Jane, Emilio, now that we have the not this knowledge, how do we best apply it to everyday life? Well, you don't live in fear anymore. Once you understand this, you will never live in fear. You prepare for the cycles and all those things. You pass it down to your family three. Now you know we necessity to rest, rest on a perfect cycle. We're going to have it hard because the eight sounds won't awaken. You know, to prepare for the events, for the storms, for all those things that's going to happen, for the tsunamis, for the earthquakes. You prepare for it. And that's it. The best that you can. Never leave a fear. Be happy. Enjoy life. Graffiti. Yeah, I already read that one. Mason's no no. Okay. Okay, I think I'm I got everything covered. Uh okay. Do you rec okay graffiti, do you reckon there were other six or seven generations with different species? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, graffiti. Seven generation comes and goes, right? We know that. So all that technology we have comes from our old seven generations. Our government discovered that technology. They reverse in the near all that technology and they use it to, to help us act with these cycles. For example, um when we for example, like uh when I was a little kid, I saw this story on TV with a binary code, uh, seven dislocations, where it makes me think that the people from the future discover uh, discover these underground cities for the old seven generations, and we did it. So it makes me think like our timeline is being in one timeline we all die because we didn't have this technology. The people from the future discovery, they time travel. And now the government, since they they use this technology to keep Earth going, they have to, you know, like the TV series Lucky, all those different variants. Now we're gonna have a multiverse because they say the people they have to correct it. What was what were they doing? Because in reality, in the first timeline, we all dead. And this new timeline, because they time travel, that's what they make me think, but I'm not sure if it's real or not. And you know, this technology has always been around. That's the that's one of the stories that's confusing me. I'm not sure if the government government is creating that lie. You know, because when I read the books, Hitler discover and Antarctica, they discover Asian underground, all this. I, I don't know. It's like really confusing. Like we have to sit down or talk about it because it's really confusing. But yeah, there have been many seven generations. Many. Many. More than us. So cities, cities buried about destroyed and there have been many. Yeah, Graffiti, there's been many generations. Yeah, but I mean, okay, graffiti. Yeah, but I mean, in the ones that we are different in this one, like titans, giants, humans. Oh yeah, you mean the stages of a human transmutation adaptation? Yeah, 
yeah we keep getting smarter through that yeah so so let's say let's say let's there's a let's say there's a reset right let's say we're in a galaxy collision let's say we're in the Andromeda galaxy it's gonna collide with our Milky Way galaxy we're in the year 80 every 84,000 years so let's say we're in the year 84,000 80 something and it's gonna be we're gonna be real smaller we're gonna become a smaller species we ain't gonna look like this okay so that'll be the end of that species so I, I will assume that the living energy we won't reproduce anymore we will start reproducing probably AI will, will be running the earth like, for, like I say earth is being run by AI because you know how the seven generation dies all the time AI always protect the earth from new seven generations so there will be a reset that is a collision, new gamma radiation in the water, return of the titans, you know, because I'm thinking that, you know, I think the titans could come in and any activity when the earth is hotter. That's what I'm thinking. And they're going to fight for, for, <laughs> they're going to fight for, to be alive, survivor of the fittest. They're going to fight. I guess that's why we need the balance. So, but still, once we are dead, our species, the titans are gonna return. They ain't gonna look like us. It's gonna be a totally different species, totally different, different thing. And they're gonna fight for control. You know what I mean? So then, through the cycles, through the ice age cycle, they will have seven. They're gonna be battling it out. All those titans are gonna be battling it out. Whoever survives, whoever is the strongest, whoever is that, who, the titan is not the strongest or the, the one who is more adaptable. The ones who adapt to the earth new environment you know those are the ones who are going to rule it's not about who the strongest who the smartest it's the body that adapts to the new environment okay so they will go through seven cycles because they will get getting smaller in the ice age cycle because of the breath of life you see so <laughs> that's the way i see it if you see it a different way graffiti let me know so <laughs> You know what I mean? So, but when I read the stories, it makes me, I see it in that way. So, that's a, that's the way I see it. You know, but when you read the Bible, um, God complete. You see, when you read the Bible, the Holy Bible, it said God created. In the beginning, there were darkness. One and two. Okay, that's two. That's when there's darkness. Okay. And the face, the spirit of God was covering in the face of the waters. He's the face of the waters, okay? So then it says that God rested in the seventh day. I said, oh, shit. They're talking about seven generations. You see, seven generation comes and goes. Because they're talking about seven cycles. Because, you see, God, okay? Then you, it can't be this, one, two, three, four, seven. He, he couldn't be resting in this seven day. No. They're talking about, when you read the Bible, it's telling you, Okay, when you keep reading the Bible, and those are the generations. They're telling you in the Bible in Genesis. And these are the generations. You see, then you go, oh, then you will understand. Yeah, just read Genesis in the Bible, chapter 1 to 3. I even made a video. It's telling you that God created. Okay, in the beginning there were darkness, 1 and 2. And God rested in the seven days. And when you keep reading the story, it says, it says, these are the generations. And you go, oh, so God rested in the seventh cycle because that was the end of those species, the new one. Because when, when you have seven times 12 equals 184,000 years, and you go, oh, okay, now you understand. You have to add those numbers up and everything. And then you will see the hidden code, the hidden numbers. So I think I put that on my book. I'm not sure. But I did put in that video that I did from Genesis chapter 1 to 3. It's that you have to see it over and over and over again. For example, like the Emerald Towers of Thought, you know how you have to read it over and over and over again to get it. It's the same thing. When you watch the Genesis that I decoded, you watch it over and you go, you listen and you look at this. You know, go, oh, then you remember the, when you hear the voice of the Arthur reading the story. It's going to tell you, and these are the generations, all oh, seven generations. Okay? I hope I explained that. If you get it. Okay, did I pass this one? I want to be. 
I want to be um I can't I can't read it here. Yeah, uh, don't you think that the elite only accept the smartest people and they let the people and the other in each other? I can't. Uh, what's this one here? Yeah, I don't know, Robert Reese, about the elite with the smart people. They they just teach their family tree. Their family tree, that they're the only ones to know. That's the way I see it. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> if, if they have people working for them, they won't tell them and everything. They just have those people working. Let's say, let's say, let's say if, if I run the world, and I don't want you knowing this, I will have people who specialize in farming, and another one specializing in how to cure the human body, but I won't tell them anything else. I have everybody separate. Let's say if, if I want you to figure out, um, for example, to create a bomb, I just have you people working on that. You, you ain't gonna know anything else. They have everybody separate. They don't have everything together. So <laughs> that's how they control everything, to separate everybody. Marianne. Okay, I'm trying to see this, but I can't. Oh, uh, graffiti. Yeah, but I mean, okay, I already read that one. Mm, Mank Fernando. So there's no hell or heaven nor God. Yeah, uh, Merck, if you're still there. Um, this is heaven. We live in heaven. This is hell, okay? This is hell right here. The 2,000 years of darkness. Okay? We eat. In hell, we eat other people. It's the earth ashes. It's no food. It's no nothing. All right? We live in heaven. 10,000 years of sunlight. That's heaven. Hell. And God. Okay? It's a constellation code. The ones that religious people believe in is fictional. God. Look. G is seven. The seven constellation of suns. You see G. When you, do, when you use the English alphabet, it doesn't even matter. If you read the Spanish Bible, or you, or you read the um, Islam, Allah, Allah is the seventh, they're telling you, okay? It's that the English Bible, the Masons, the old Masons created it to them to understand more better, okay? So when you use the English Bible, it's more easier to understand the celestial, the hidden knowledge. So God, G7, seven constellation with sons. O is 15 in the English alphabet. See, this is the rest of the soul. 15 passages. She makes 15 passages for six years. Six months, six is the mark of the beast. She awakens the eight sons. Then, D, okay, um, God, oh, you do, yeah. That'll be the four elements, okay? And that's it. You see? D, four, the four elements, the four seasons. See, the four seasons. That's above, so below. That's the that's the real word of God. Uh, people don't understand that. So there you go. You might understand. God, G7, the seven constellation with sons, O, 15 patches of the rest of the solar system, D4, the four elements, the four seasons. That's the real word of God. This is hell. We eat other people for 2,000 years. And there's a lot of movies telling you, I've seen a lot of movies that they explain the 2,000 years of darkness. A lot of elite movies telling you about that. So the sun melts the ice away. We live in heaven again. So these people that will live in this age, they will think differently than we do. It's a different way of thinking. So I hope I explained that. Okay. Graffiti. Uh, yep. Uh, Portugal, our stories on how our planet Earth is affected by the four enemies. Yep. The Milky Way Galaxy. Yep, right here. The Milky Way Galaxy. The four elements. Water, Earth, Fire, and Air. For example, like I said in the beginning of the video, the Egyptian calls the water element hell. Um, the Earth element, the Egyptian calls it um, paradise, the fire element, the Egyptian calls it heaven, 
the air age is Portugal. So, yep, Marianne, uh, can you tell us what movies they are explaining how? Later, though. <laughs> okay. Not, um, they're not going to tell you how, but they're going to tell you it's the Ice Age and how the people live underground. There's a lot of music videos, a lot of elite stuff that. I, I even posted the videos on my Facebook page where you can see them. Logan's Runs. There's another one that I share with Graffiti. The one where they show um, the Bush and Obama. They're in the classroom. They're showing you in that video the cycles. So it's that people can't see it because of their ignorance. So. Now, I'm sorry if, if I didn't catch everybody. It's because of this phone. It's just not showing me the things the right way. I hope I caught everybody. Um, Rowries, that makes sense. Yes, a very sacred society. They only teach the family. Yeah, they just teach their family. And it's like when I read those books, Rowries, when I read those books, they cannot tell you like the elect ones when you read the book of Enoch, you know that it's all talking about the constellation stories. It's all about them. But they kind of give you a, a little insight in how they rule the world. Like me and Graffiti were talking about it. Where um we were talking about what was it? How they they the only ones like we were talking, see, are they good people? Are they bad people? I think it's all about humanity, how they, they grow in consciousness. It's, it's about them. You know what I mean? And I see them as kind of like good people, but Graffiti looks at them as... they. <laughs> he, he looks at them differently. He looks at them as their um, shellfish, greedy people who just want money, who don't care about, you know, yeah. I think like that too, cause, but it has, you know. What I mean, I'm, I'm saying we. The only thing that confused me is those titans. If those tit, if if that's real, that the titans can come back because of the high carbon emissions, then I can see why. Then I can see them as good people. But if if the titan thing is a lie, and if it's like graffiti thinks it's just talking about the four elements and everything, then he's right. You know, that's that's my confusion part. Okay. I'm just telling you people. I'm just saying. If the Titans come back in the galaxy position, I will see the government as bad people. But if the Titans could come back with high carbon emissions, high CO2 with the RF, hotter or the volcano, and they could come back now, and that's why they then I see them as good people. But I don't know. I'm confused. I don't know. So and I don't trust no one. Believe me, I don't trust no one. You know, I only trust myself, my knowledge, and the way I study and learn and how, how I can see things. I don't trust no one. I only worship my mind. And once I can understand it, then. So, but it's, it's, it's everywhere too hard to see. So, but it's, it's true. When you study history, you can see what the Spaniards did. They stole all the gold or the Native American lands. They created all these, you know, is, is it better? No, again, like I said, is it better? I think, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'd I'll, I'll rather live with nature, but if there's a lot of people, we create a lot of CO2 and high, a lot of high carbon, and these titans can come back, we fucked. Then I understand why they why they were rulers and why they control everything, because they have to maintain the balance because of that. That'll be the end of life of humanity, the way we... You know, even even if there's no technology and we work with we live with nature, but there's a lot of people and a lot of high carbon activity and everything because of the volcanic activity, all those stuff going on, and, and we the balance are not. So, you know, that's the only part that you know I'm confused about. <laughs> so, I don't know, but the more the more I study, the more I read, it has to do with the carbon. So, there's something in there. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. 
So that's actually a cold thought, volcanoes destroy everything around them. Yeah, like I said, Larry, those volcanoes put up too much carbon dioxide, too much CO2 up there. And I'm thinking, I know the ocean and the atmosphere. And I'm thinking those titans really could come back now. It doesn't happen in the galaxy collision. And that's why we have to maintain the balance. Like Bill Gates says, um, zero carbon, you see? They are afraid of something. You know what I mean? Those those world elites are afraid of something. I think they're afraid of that. That's what I'm thinking. And I'm saying, you know, I think I'm wrong with the galaxy collision. I think I'm wrong on that one where the Titans could come back at that time. I think they could come back when the Earth gets hotter, when when all this activity because of the eight suns. And we have to fight. We have to fight for our survival. And the only way we can survive this is by maintaining the balance, the, the carbons, the CO2. That's what I'm thinking, but I don't know. You know what I mean? I'm not sure if that's the correct way, if it's because of the red sun, the red sun, you know, the red sun up here, when she awakens that eight suns and the earth is hotter, or does it happen in the galaxy collision every 84,000 years? I don't know. I'm reading a lot, reading, reading more and more books. I think graffiti probably because he reads the books Asus and Odin, all those. I think it has to be in one of those books. It has to be hidden in there in one of those books, the knowledge. So that's the only part. And as you know, they dropped a 40 ton bomb in the, in the um, well, in a lot of locations they did it. And when you watch those movies, you can see. You know, when you watch those movies, Pacific Rim, all those movies with Titans underwater, they drop those bombs all the time. And it makes me think that's what they're doing, but I'm not, I, I don't know, man. Ron Reese, the Titans probably don't know they are dead. <laughs> they just want to take back their Earth. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's why we have to, ma but remember, I was, I don't know, man. They keep everything hidden. So I don't know. So I don't, you know, only time can tell, man. We're living in that age right now. So if it's true about the Titans, then then you will see that the government are really actually good people and that's why they're doing all this. You know, they're running out of time. So, but I don't know, man. Graffiti, I've been doing it. I've been doing it. I'll be digging in everything for the Titan. Even occult books, no luck. They hide it, they hide they hide it real well. I want to read Guy Gas Codex, but couldn't find an English version. Oh yeah, thank you for decoding the Yeah. Yeah, um, you know that movie, um I mean that music video. What was the name of that video? Um with little mass, um, stand by my, um, something by my, you know, the one that all the religious people are hating where he killed the devil. Well, when you look at that video in the beginning, you can see the Titan's hands. Then there's a tree and it has in Greek lettering something and graffiti decoded it for me. And it says something about the tree. This is the tree divided. You see, it's the four seasons. So for you people, whoever saw that the music video, where they saw the where you saw the longest scars, remember our ancestors had the longest scars through the ice age cycle. You see how we look like. And see, these were our ancestors in the in age four. They were the ones with longest scars. In the ice age, they gave birth to us. We have the small skull. Okay, so you see, and they they gave us their knowledge. So. But in that music video, they're showing you all that stuff. Okay, so it's all about this. So, so there's the pole where he slides down, you see? There's the pole where he's in heaven and he slides down to hell, you see? Then you, when you watch that music video, I forgot the name of it. Um, but I hope, hope you know what I'm talking about. Little Nas, um, Stand By My Side, something like that. So, but if you watch it in the beginning, you can see all the you know, all the hidden knowledge in it. So, so yeah. 
So thank you, Graffiti, for decoding that. I don't know how you did it. So, so yeah. So I, I like that. I was, it was pretty cool. Ariane, I seen bombs drop inside volcanoes. Damn, bomb inside volcanoes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Raul Reese, if the sun was closer during the Titan's generation, maybe they are weak right now. I would think they can control some elements. Fire. Remember when I read those stories? When I read those stories, it makes me think the Titans are those elements. Okay. But I'm just saying, what if when the red sun comes in and the earth produces more carbon, that's when they return. And when you watch these movies with the elites, they're telling you when the high carbon are higher, that's when they come out from the, 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 the aliens. You know how people are waiting for aliens from outer space to come in? No. The, it comes, like, you know, when you watch the elites, they're telling you, they're telling you the, the invasion is going to come from within, you see? And I'm thinking they're talking about that, but I don't know. The threat is, you know, the red sun comes in and changes the stuff, but the real threat, it comes from within the sun, within the earth, when the eight suns are awakened. I think that's what they're trying to tell us. So, they're talking their own code in their own language, where they, they're the only ones who understand. So... And they, they laugh when people go, oh, so there is aliens. And they go, <laughs> if you only knew. Like, I hope you've seen those TV interviews where they interview Obama. They interview the princess of um, England. You know, the, the, you know, the Queen Elizabeth, here's whatever. When you hear them talk, they say, no, man, the threat comes from within. So you make me think. So it has to be the Titans. You know, that's the threat. The inside threat, so. It comes from underneath our feet, the ocean. But I don't know. But I'm just trying to use my mind to try to figure out why they're, why they're so afraid of. So they're never going to tell you guys the truth. You know, the truth is hidden. They just give you a lie. So, Raurice, what does the quote mean to your Emilio since you are, understand the knowledge really good? We are made in the God image. Yeah, that means that God, uh, the, you know, I already told you G7 or figure four. When the sun changes, the energy, the frequency, we all change. It's all about the frequency, the sound of the earth, you know, the sound, the hmm, whatever sound that is, whatever we create, we change. When the seven signs, when the eight sun changes, the earth will change and we will change as well. Depending on the new sound, the new vibration. We become a different species. That's what I'm saying. You have to think about it, Rauris. 2,000 years of darkness, no sunlight, no vibration. We're going to become a different species. Then in the Asia Spices, all those, all those people who live underground, they will see the sun for the first time. They won't understand anything. They have to relearn everything like we are. So hopefully, these people in the underground, they will pass the knowledge, the truth, not keep everybody stupid like they kept us stupid. We were slaves. Remember, we were food for the elites for 2,000 years. And probably the slaves that escaped, they didn't know anything about this stuff. That's why. And only the elect ones knew. And they don't teach you none of this stuff. So you can pass the knowledge through generations. But you know how your children, they don't want to listen. They don't want to study. They don't want to. So. Life is awesome. Thank you. And Rianne. What do you think? Um, I can't say that stuff in here, Marianne, because they will delete this video in my account. They don't want you talking about that stuff. But like I told you, Marianne, watch the Obama videos from seven years ago and Bill Gates. I share that videos of them telling you what it is. All right? They're telling you what it is. So it's all there to all to see is that people, they don't want to see it. I gave you the video with Bill Gates telling you what it is, what it's for. Okay? Straight from the horse's mouth. So, 
but I can't tell you, man. I can't, I can't email you and send you the videos of them telling you what it is. So, oh, okay. They have your page from the top. All right. Yeah, man. But just go on Humanity Ancient History. I, I show that it's linked with my YouTube page, those videos, because if I put those videos here, and I already, I did one today, and they gave me a strike. So, <laughs> and YouTube. So I'm going to have to open another account on on YouTube. A new one for these new videos I'll be making like this. So yeah. So anyways, um, I'm going to get going. Nice talking to you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. And I will talk about more about the Bible, the Emeritus of Thought. The Lost Book of Inky, you know, I want you guys to, you know, look, you know, get Bible verses, ask me questions about the Bible, and I'll explain it using this. It's real simple. Or anything from any cultures or around the world, any book, the Buddha, whatever. Get in the middle. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, anything you guys want, just let me know. I'll try to explain it all. So, yeah. Yeah, this phone is acting up again. <laughs> it, doesn't let, it doesn't let me see anything. So, yeah. Um, you know, just tomorrow, you know, if you people want to learn, just any questions you have from any course or any religion, anything, ask me and I'll try to do my best. If I can see it through, through in here, so on this thing. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Study, learn, use your brain.